Let's see how we can fix the error that says CPU uses 100% and our computer slows down a lot. So we will discuss five tips here. Stay till the end. The last tip is what most people don't discuss and it is a very important one. Also, I'll give you a bonus tip that might help you to increase the performance of your PC overall. Okay, so first of all, press Windows key and type control panel and this option will show up. Click on this. Now you will see options like this. If you don't see this, this might be because you are watching something like this. So you, you can just click on view by and click on large icons and you will see this. Now click on power options and click on change plan settings. Click on change advanced power settings here. Click on this and if you see something that says high performance or something like that, click on that. If you don't see anything, if you just see one thing like this, what you can do is click on this processor power management. Click on this maximum processor state and make sure you've set it to 100 like I have it here. So this means that I can use full power of my processor for whatever I'm doing. Now click control shift and escape and your task manager will open. So here what you can do is you can see whatever is running. So first we will disable startup apps. Now if you disable startup apps, your PC will be faster initially when you just start up, it will start up a lot faster. Click on startup apps. Now I have this icon here. In Windows 10, you will have this startup app somewhere around here on the top. Now you will see all these apps that are enabled during startup. Let me just click on this. So as you can see, I have around six apps that are enabled when the computer is starting up. So this means that when I turn on my PC, these apps open up in the background. So I am not sure what this is. So what I can do is I can just disable this and I can also disable hotkeys. I can also disable this extra QS helper. So you disable all the apps that you don't need when your computer is starting up and your computer will start up a lot faster. Now let's move on to the next step. So go back to your main screen that was visible. Now you can click on this and it will sort according to your in ascending order of your power usage. So if you click on this again, it will show you what is using the most CPU. So here you can see which of your applications are using most CPU and you can end this. For example, let's say I want to end Reason Labs application. So you just right click on it and click end task and your task will be ended. This is how you can see if some application here is probably a malware or probably something that you don't need, you can just kill it. The second last tip that is very important is disabling high precision event timer. So what you need to do is press Windows key and type device manager, right? Click on this and your device manager will open. Now in your device manager, click on system devices and scroll down and you'll find this high precision event timer. Now you right click on this and click on disable device. So now if you go back to your task manager, your CPU uses might have decreased. The final tip is sometimes we have issues because our device manager or our devices need driver updates. So what you can do is you can see devices and you can manually update devices from here. All right, so you can just, let's say you want to update Wi-Fi driver. So what you can do is you can just right click on this and click on update driver and click on search automatically for drivers. But this is a very slow process. So you can, you'll have to click on every device that has update. But what you can do is you can just press Windows key and type updates and click on check for updates. As you can see here, it is showing Windows 11 version. This is available. Now I can download and install. Finally, one bonus tip is open your browser and search for driver booster. Now I've used this software in the past and it helps a lot with automatically finding which drivers have updates available and install them. So you can just free download this and install updates for your drivers. I hope one of these tips helped you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.